Today we're starting at the Fort Hayes Career Center here for Columbus City Schools. It's right off Cleveland Avenue. We're going to follow the I-670 trail until it ends at Alum Creek Trail. So come on, let's go check this out. A lot of changes have taken place through here over the last couple of years. You may notice on the camera on the right that they're repaving the road uh, as part of the last pieces for this area. Um, one of the things that recently opened up was the ability to get on 670, which is coming up on the right side here. So this was closed for a long time, but now it makes it easier to get on the freeway from downtown. Again, all this fencing on the left side was part of the old Fort Hayes. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's still some old lamp posts there. Really kind of cool. Probably 50 years old. Now, soon we'll be going under the uh, I-71 new uh, interchange that's taken place. Lots of construction's always going on around here. The last couple of years as they make this a little bit better. This part of the trail was closed for a long time as they put in all this bridge work. And you'll see it's not finished yet, but getting pretty close. things you'll notice is uh, still a lot of debris hanging around here they haven't really cleaned any of this up it's not officially open yet although we can't get through um, they really need to come in here and at least clean this up for the bikers but there's no reason that we need to have so much junk around here now eventually this will be one of the connector routes for the Ohio to Erie Trail once uh, Alum Creek Trail is finished over by Ohio Dominican as well as uh, Easton which uh, that's slated to be done all parts hopefully by May 2015 here for a second. Okay, it looks like I actually have a green light. I didn't hit the button. There we go. You may have just saw the sign there. Like obviously, it's still when people through here, they haven't removed it yet. Now, one of the things you're going to notice that bothers me a little bit is the fact that uh, along the fencing, you're going to notice a ton and ton of trash. There's just so much trash here. And uh, got an idea how to get rid of it. I don't know if it'll ever get off the ground, but uh, and if you have an idea or two, put it in the comments section down below. Maybe I can get the city to try something different. But... Uh, this is all going to be um, used by people coming through Columbus. And I know I wouldn't want uh, my city looking like this. But anyway, my thought was that instead of, uh, or I guess I wouldn't say instead of, but uh, would be to use something like Adopt a Highway instead of use Adopt a Bikeway and you get like the scouts or whoever 
can come out and do community service and clean some of this up. It's, you know, I don't know who else is going to do it. Because the city will come along and they'll uh, cut the grass, but that's about as far as it goes. And personally, this is going to be part of the crown jewel when you go from Cincinnati up to Cleveland or the other way. So if you got an idea how to clean this up, please let me know because this goes on for about three quarters of the length of this road. Anyway, we're traveling along Leonard Avenue, which we'll continue doing that until uh, we uh, get to 670 here in a little bit. And at that point, we'll cross over, which is what the name of this trail really is right now, is the I-670 Trail. Hopefully, somewhere next year, once uh, this becomes a really used trail, they'll create a real name for it. But in the meantime, that's what everybody has to call it. Coming up is Joyce Avenue, and the other side of the street is Champion Avenue. Now we got our green light. Now, coming up on the right side. This used to be the Charles P. Wiley Veterans Hospital and they moved out a few years ago They're actually up at uh, uh, DSCC or whatever in the world they call it this week. They seem to change the name quite frequently but uh, it's on uh, Broad Street and James and that whole area back through there basically. Anyway, if you notice it's been taken over by Ohio State and if you look real close on the right side, you can actually uh, see bushes that spell out OSU. And it's basically their medical center. At least the one on the east side. And uh, it's a, they call it CarePoint East. Never been inside, so I couldn't tell you what it's like. On the right, that's Taylor Avenue, which obviously doesn't extend to the left. Now, the hills on this trail are not too bad. They a little bit of uphill on this way, but it's not too bad. You change the lower gear, you should be fine. So I wouldn't call you know, an elevation an issue with this. Crossing over some railroad tracks, which are still used quite frequently actually. Intersection is the uh, entrance and exit on and off uh, 670. A lot of traffic. Crossing over 670 here, and we'll hook a left 
or I'm sorry, a right coming up. Hit that The rest of the way, it's pretty much downhill from here. Slightly bumpy, but uh, fairly enjoyable. Except for the noise, you'll notice uh, we get really close to 670 and the traffic noise is pretty loud up here. It's still a really nice day. It's uh, the 25th of September and when I left the house it was uh, close to 70 degrees with a high today of uh, around 80. So as you can see there isn't a cloud in the sky which is great. Well, we're coming up to the end of this ride. Once we uh, go around this bend, if you go straight, you're on Allen Creek Trail, and that'll take you to Ohio Dominican, and soon it'll take you north. If you go to the uh, left up here, which I'll turn into, that'll take you to Allen Creek Trail South, which could take you as far as Patascala, or even um, Black Lake Park. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.